Hello, and welcome to another edition of Robert vs. the New Yorker Cryptic. Today we're going to do the one from Sunday, January 30th, 2022. And uh, for those of you who don't know how to do a cryptic, there's a, uh, a playlist in the, in the description down below, in including a video where I explain the rules sort of more carefully at the beginning, my very first cryptic video. But just as an example, this one is Margarine Containers Bust All Over. So Cryptic Clue has both uh, a definition and wordplay. So here the definition is mar margarine containers. The wordplay is bust all over, and it's a clue to anagram. The all over is a clue to anagram the word bust. So the answer is tubs. Did I say the answer was bust? The answer is tubs. All right, so that'll be one of the ones in here. So let's uh, let's get into this. It's by Neville Fogarty. Let's see if I can get it looking good. Yep, looks good. All right. Suddenly break fastener. Could be a double definition. At first, Sam and Pat quarrel. Spat, right? At first, Sam is the S, and then Pat meaning quarrel. Robin Leach trashed Jack Black movie about luchadores. Uh, so it's Nacho Libre, an anagram of Robin Leach. Solve mishap or confusion. Okay, suddenly break fastener. So it's snap. That's a double definition. That sometimes happens. Can mean both suddenly break or fastener. This is tubs, as we discussed. Indeed, starting to live in upside down tent. Um, is it to wit or something? No. Then oh, it also tells you the length of the words, right? For the to wit, it would be two three. Use Netflix to watch, say, drunken master. Stream, right? This, this, this is tubs stream. It's an anagram of master. Mac blasted hip hop cover that's popping, question mark. Bubble wrap, right? Uh, definition is cover that's popping. Mac is bub, uh, blasted is blue, and hip hop is rap. All right, physical therapist gains insight. It's a minor injury paper cut. So it's PT around the outside, and then it gains aperçu in the middle there. A revolutionary pain. It's ache for K A K Govara. Pain. Projection follows golf ball. Um, I don't know. A small concern. Losing the opener is unfortunate. Okay. Organize meals or trial location. Salem. Organize meals means anagram meals. Salem witch trials. Passage I will read aloud. Shoot the rifleman segment in reverse. Um, fire. So the, the answer, sorry, the definition is shoot. And inside of the rifleman in reverse, we have F I R E there. Whoops. They start key as easily, you see. Um, okay. Wisconsin City trades band leader for Deadhead to form a rock group. You archaically listen to music on this app. You archaically. It's like thou. Oh, nope. After the premiere, readies set pieces. Is this an S? Might be an S. Uh, so this should be an anagram of mishap or aphorism. So the confusion says to anagram it, and aphorism is like a, a saying, right? A trite saying. So a, a saw, an old saw. Indeed. It says truly. Yeah, yurt is an upside down tent. I mean, yurt is a tent written upside down. And live, or live is L. This seems like it'll be globe. 
Yeah, the definition is ball. Projection is lobe, I think. And G is golf, like in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Go Alabama, I heard on the radio. It's roll tide. Part of play of play even to the score. Yeah, so a roll is a part in a play. Even the score is tied, and heard on the radio means it audibly sounds like roll tide. Roll tide. So this is worry, maybe. Losing the opener is unfortunate. Oh no, maybe it's sorry. Yeah, so it's small as S. Concern losing the opener is worry losing the W. And sorry is unfortunate. Unkempt, timid exterior covers up good guy at first. Turnover, shucks, time out. I don't see it yet. Okay, so just the bottom here. Something. I want to say Steely Dan, but I don't think. No, it wouldn't fit anyway. Um, rock group, Green Day. Wisconsin Treaty City Trades band leader for Deadhead. So Green Bay is a Wisconsin city and it changes band leader, which is the first letter of band for Deadhead, which is the head of dead. Change the B for the D there. Set pieces. Preps and reps. Yeah, I see. Like, um, if you're at the gym, pieces of your set are reps, and it's preps after the first letter. Preps there. So this is Kia's. Sorry, this is Keys. They start Kia's easily. You see. That might be like kind of a double definition slash wordplay. All right. So just these. I thought this would be like shoddy or shabby, but maybe it's shaggy. Timid exterior. Yep, so shy is around the outside. And then a good guy at first are the letters A, G, G. Okay. This is aisle, meaning a passage, like a passageway. And then you could also read it as I apostrophe L, L if you read it aloud. This is sleep. Yeah, so peels turned over. Right backwards, like if you peel an oyster or whatever. It means time out. This is Yelp. Let me see why though. <laughs> you are cankly listen to music on this app, so the definition must be app. Oh you are cankly is ye. And Listen to music on this is LP for long play, right? Yeah. All right, that was um, I think. Oh, yeah, I didn't. I don't really know why lobe means projection. So the nice thing about the New York crossword is they they give you in a very easy to digest way the the solution afterward. So why is lobe projection? Maybe I just don't know the a good definition of projection. I see just in the sense of just in the sense of something that projects. Something that protrudes, which is basically the same thing as the word lobe, I think. It's close enough. C, yeah, D, soft for B. I really like this one, actually. There was another one I liked quite a lot. Um, oh yeah, I thought this was good, too. Bub blue wrap. I 
first letters. Oh, I see. They start Kia's as a K, easily as an E, Y, and C. And then you also literally interpret it. So it's the entire thing is a definition, which is also something that can happen in cryptics, should I mention. All right, well, this was a pretty straightforward one. Uh, but it's a nice little Sunday activity, I feel like. Um, some of the harder cryptics are kind of nice all-day activities where you can think about them for a while. But these New Yorker ones are sort of uh, quicker. You can sort of do them in one sitting, if you're lucky. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you next week for another New Yorker cryptic. See you then.